the title of the book. What is it? Shia! Pretty cool. Okay. Let's open to the first page. Okay. Deep in the jungle, there's much to be seen. Like tall leafy trees that are all shades of green. Some birds coloured red, others yellow or blue. And animals too that play games just like you. Now the people who haven't read the story, what, what games do you think they play on this page? Chess, cards. Yep. Well, let's find out. Let's look at the page. That's right, chess and cards and go see. There's tiger and hippo, and chimp full of cheek, and others who love to play chess and go see. But cards they play most, and each day they're all in. Yet one grinning critter will every time win. And who thinks they know who the grinning critter is? I think, I think everybody knows who that is. Let's turn the page. It's Cheetah the Cheetah, that super sly creature. No matter your cards, he always will beat you. So day after day and game after game, he wins with the aces. It's always the same. Who thinks the animals are happy about him winning all the time? No. Do you think they're a bit grumpy? Yeah. Oh, they're very grumpy. Let's turn the page. You always come first, never second, nor third. The others protest. How is it so? It's absurd. I guess I'm just good, says Cheetah all sly. It's easy as pie when you're clever as I. He sounds like a pretty cheap animal, doesn't he? It doesn't take long until tempers run hot. The animals know there's a secret he's got. I think a lot of people might know what his secret is. He's cheats. Let's find out how he cheats. So Sloth is sent off to the sly cheater's den to learn how he always wins time and again. He snoops and he spies from high in the trees. The sloth can view everything. Guess what he sees? The cheetah, he tankers with gadgets all night that whiz, whir and spin with their lights that shine bright. They move cards around, hide an ace up his sleeve, sneak peeks behind backs like you would not believe. With cameras and mirrors and claws that extend, his pockets and lockets hide gimmicks, no end. <coughs> what do you think the other animals are going to think about when they, uh, when they find this out? They're going to be a bit angry. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> Aghast to the others to learn cheetah's deeds. We need to do something, a lesson he needs. <laughs> Their heads put together, their brains start to storm. They dream and they scheme, and a plan starts to form. Now, people who haven't read the story, what do they think gonna, the plan is going to be? Teach them a lesson, maybe? I think everybody knows. The sun starts to set and they find Cheetah's door. They knock till it opens, it was hard to ignore. Good evening, dear Cheetah, they greet with a smile. A challenge we have. It's a race of one mile. Now, who thinks that Cheetah's going to be happy about a race? Because no. a Cheetah's no. slow. Cheetah's fast. Cheetah's very fast. So surely he's going to like a race. A race? Well, of course, your challenge seems daft. Don't you know I'm a cheater? I just nearly laughed. My speed's supersonic, that's just when I cruise. There's no creature quicker, no way can I lose. Then how about a wager, the others propose. You seem very sure that you'll win on your nose. If you can come first, then your servants will be. For one year we'll cook and we'll clean things for free. But fail to win if you're not too averse. It's us you will serve, it will be the reverse. The cheetah agrees, and he nods, yes, all right. 
Free servants, he yells. You've just made my night. Who here has made that deal with one of their brothers or sisters? If you lose, you have to do my dishes. I think everyone's made that. These animals are no different. With date and time set, at noon the next day, the cheetah retires and soon hits the hay. Who here needs a big sleep before a big day the next day? I know I do. You need a lot of rest to get more energy. Let's turn the page. Oh, next page. Next page. <laughs> At dawn, Cheetah wakes, hones his claws for more traction, and warms up outside to get ready for action. But what's this? He spies on the path coloured gold, a large labelled bottle with writing quite bold. Who knows what the bottle says? Speed tonic. Take caution. With care you should drink. This makes you run faster than lightning. Don't blink. You guys all know the words. That's really cool. <laughs> so who thinks the chair is going to drink it? Everybody. Okay, let's start. You can see. How great! Grins the cheetah. How quick I will go. It's cheating a bit, but no one will know. He unscrews the cap and he guzzles it down. I feel it. I'll break all the records in town. With confident strides, he heads to the start. The others are there and they look the part. With headbands and sneakers and racing attire, they're ready. The stakes have not ever been higher. Good day to you all. What a day for a race. I really can't wait till you all wash my face. He's a bit cheeky, isn't he, the cheetah? We'll see about that, they retort with glare. Now everything's honest and open and fair. I've always been honest, no matter the cost says Cheetah so smug, but his fingers are crossed. Who knows what it means when you cross your fingers? It means you don't really mean what you say, doesn't it? The hill where they stand has a view of the track. The finish line's marked by a flag, white and black. This race won't be easy. We hope you're prepared. If one of us beats you, you lose. Are you scared? No way! I'm not scared. Cheetah scolds them with scorn, but covers his mouth as he stifles a yawn. Hmm, what does it mean when you yawn? You're tired. What would that be? <coughs> they line up already. The countdown has starts. Three, two, one, go! And they take off like darts. Just one second flat is all it will take for Cheetah to leave all the rest in his wake. He streams ahead fast and his body is blurred. I'm going to win. But did those words seem slurred? Mm. His body feels heavy. His vision goes grey. The finish line now appears so far away. He slows to a walk and his eyes start to close. He stumbles and falls and lies down for a doze. Hmm. Sounds like he's not going to win the race. All dazed and confused, he opens an eye, but has not a clue how much time has passed by. There's Hippo and Chimp, they look down from above and shake him awake with an indignant shove. We've finished the race, and close you are not. So you lose cheating, cheetah. You'll wash every pot. The animals come and they all gather round. You found our speed tonic we left on the ground. It was really a trick, and it did work a treat. Like when we played cards, we knew you would cheat. Contained in that bottle was really sleep tonic. It would slow you, not speed you. 
Is that not ironic? <laughs> Who knows what the word ironic means? It's a bit of a tricky word. What do you think? Not, not true. Yeah. Usually it means if something seems really good, but it's actually not very good at all. Like, speed tonics was not good. <coughs> okay. So cheater the cheater, his head hung in shame, admits that he cheated and lost in the game. It's clear to me now that to cheat doesn't pay. From now on, it's just by the rules that I'll play. Who thinks cheaters learn his lesson? Sounds like it. So now for 12 months, cheaters promise he keeps. He tidies and dusts and he mops and he sweeps. Who here likes doing housework at home? Some people. Who doesn't like doing uh, most people? <laughs> I wonder if Cheetah finds a way not to do the housework. Let's find out. But being so clever, and house chores they bore him, he programs his gadgets to do them all for him. With duties all covered, the place is like new. There's not much remaining for Cheetah to do. Can everyone see on the pictures what sort of jobs he's getting the gadgets to do? Pouring a, feeding a fish, pouring cups of tea, doing the sweeping. Let's turn the page. He's free to play cards, but now he's no cheat. And now he's okay with accepting defeat. So just as we started, the jungle is where the animals play. But it's fun and it's fair. And that's the end of the story. Thank you very much. And thank you, Emma, for holding the <laughs>